Welcome back to the channel. My clients already played a lot of very interesting hands this year, so I thought I would break down six points for you today that you need to work on if you want to crush online poker in 2023. Let's go! It's a very different world we live in right now compared to poker 10 to 15 years ago. Things are moving quickly, but the games are still very beatable. The world of online poker has become very professional. Even if you want to beat the low to mid stakes, you need to put serious effort into it since people study and work hard to improve their game. So if you just want to play poker for fun without a lot of effort, this video might not be for you. But if you're thinking about crushing online poker in 2023, then get pen and paper ready since I will share exclusive knowledge with you that I get it from working with dozens of poker players worldwide. The first step is, as I just said, to understand that you need to work on your game to get an edge against your opponents not just in terms of strategy, but also in terms of mindset. The second step is to focus on one game type. Even if you're extremely smart and dedicated, it will take you years to master one game type. Don't make the mistake and try to master multiple game types at the same time. Focusing on one specific format will save you a lot of time and make it much easier for you to see results fast. If you don't know which format you should go for and how to figure out which game type fits best for you, then let me know in the comments down below and I will create a specific video for you explaining everything step by step. Personally, I came into poker because of Ben and he taught me everything about entities first. I played them for a long time until I realized that cash game is probably the better format for me and my lifestyle. But let's continue with step number three. Talking about Ben, he also teached me the importance of mindset very early in my career as a poker player. Looking back, I think the most important variable of a poker player is to build a strong mental game. Poker is a game that is consistently putting your mental strength to the test. You will go through phases of your career in which you will have more money than you ever had. And other times you will face a downswing that can hit you so hard that you will start questioning yourself and if you're still able to beat this game. Poker can put you through your highest highs and lowest lows. So having a strong and especially stable mental state can only be beneficial. One of the core lessons that I see especially beginning players go through is to understand that poker is not a way to make fast and quick money. If you're only playing poker because you want to get rich quickly, this is definitely not the best way to do it. If you play poker, make sure that you love the game, the emotions it leads you through and the challenges you will face along your journey. One topic that can be very helpful during this journey is learning how to learn. Learning the right way and bringing your knowledge to the poker table is a crucial aspect of your success as a poker player. Since everyone learns things in a different way, it would be very beneficial to take a deeper look into this area. The most important thing is to figure out which learning style works best for you. In this graphic, for example, you have an overview of the four different learning styles, which are visual and auditory learning, learning by reading and writing things down, or kinesthetic learning, which is a more hands-on approach. If you haven't figured out which learning style is best for you, try all of them out so you know how to study poker the optimal way and bring that knowledge to the tables. When we talk about studying, we also have to talk about solvers. If you're a beginning player, I would say you shouldn't worry too much about using them. But if you're already third in your journey, you definitely want to use them and also know how to use them to solve different scenarios. Switching between a lighter study, like watching videos or reading a book, to deeper study, like solo work, can also do wonders. The key thing to master learning is to train your self-awareness and test how you can absorb information in the best possible way. Next up, let's talk about optimizing your life around poker. One of the first things I teach my clients is to think and behave like an athlete. If you're trying to give yourself as much edge as you can on your opponents, you want to have strong habits in place that help you to increase that edge. These habits will not just help you to think better, focus longer and make better decisions. They will also help you to deal better with the ups and downs of poker. Meditation is one of the tools that can change your life forever. If you're a complete beginner, I recommend starting with a daily five minute meditation to start seeing results. If you're already more advanced, feel free to listen to the guided meditations on this channel to boost your edge even more. You'll find the link below in the description. Working out is another strong tool every successful poker player should implement into his life. 
To become the best version of yourself, you need to be physically as fit as mentally. Especially if you sit a lot during the day, it's crucial to work out at least three to four times a week to give your body what it needs. Because there's a strong correlation between how clearly you can think and how healthy your body is. Having a good sleep is something a lot of poker players are aware of, but don't change anything about it. It's crucial for our brain to have at least seven to eight hours of sleep to make sure you feel energized and focused throughout your day. If you look at high level athletes, for example, you see that they also focus a lot on their exercise, nutrition, and a good quality of sleep. Another important aspect you shouldn't miss out on is building discipline. I like the saying, you are the sum of your habits. As an online poker player, you have so much flexibility, which seems amazing, right? But it's a gift and a curse at the same time. If you don't use that flexibility wisely, you're gonna be procrastinating, wasting time, and getting frustrated with yourself because you finish your day with nothing done. So creating and following a certain schedule can be a game changer. What I usually do with my clients is to show them how they can figure out how they function the best and create our schedule around that. Let me give you an example. A few years ago, I wanted to figure out how I can structure my day to make sure my mind and body work optimally. So I played around with different schedules and figure out that I work the best if I wake up around 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m., do the most important tasks right away, and then I go to the gym eat afterwards and have my coaching calls or create some content in the afternoon. This is how I operate in the best possible way, but it needed some trial and error until I figured out what my perfect day looks like. If you can figure out how your own ideal day looks like combined with the right habits, this can boost your win rate and your success a lot. Last but not least, having awesome mentors and friends around you will be the final step to become a successful poker player in 2023. If you can figure out what your own ideal day looks like combined with the right habits, this can boost your win rate and your success a lot. Poker is one of the hardest paths to go alone and I think it's also kind of stupid to figure everything out on your own. We live in an era in which you have access to a ton of free poker strategy and mindset content, which can help you tremendously. On top of that, you also have great communities that you can be a part of completely for free. Having people around you that you can ask for advice and study with can increase your chances a lot to become a successful poker player this year. Feel free to check out my own Discord channel in case you're still looking for a strong drive that will help you to crush. If you want to increase your chances of success even further, you should definitely look for a coach or a mentor that you can relate to. Having someone on your side that can guide you through a proven process can be a shortcut for your success. So if you're interested in being mentored by me personally and have a chat about how I can help you to become a successful poker player in 2023, then click the link below in the description. You will go directly to my homepage where you can fill out a short application and schedule a call with me personally. In this call, we will create a step-by-step -step plan together on how you can make the most out of this year. Looking forward to speaking to you soon. See you in the next video.